hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss about the new feature of grc so what is the new feature in the grc so let me log into my sap system and this particular feature what i am going to talk about so that is released with the grc sp level 25 grc 12 and sp level 25 it's not available before that but still if you want to use this feature in the before patches in the before on the older system in grc 12 if you are let's assume you are in the older version of grc 12 suppose you're in sp05 or you're in sp10 or sp15 like that and still you want to use this feature so at the time there's an sap node has been released so according to that, you just implement that particular SAP node and you will get this report. So I'll tell you what is that node and how you implement. So we'll discuss all this part later. So now we'll see what is that feature of this. What is the new feature of this particular report? So we are going to talk about the report GRAC rule set manager. GRAC rule set manager. So this is the this is the new report released by SAP from SP25. So this system is currently an SP28. So I'm able to I'm able to execute this report directly. If you're in the older version of SP24 or SP20 like that, you cannot execute this report directly. Either you have to upgrade your system or you have to implement one particular node in the system. Okay, so what is the main features of this SAP node? So what is the new features of this particular report? So GRAC rule set manager. So what it is doing? So earlier, if you want to modify any of the rule set, so what we do, how we do, let me go back. Let me go back to SC38. SC38. So at the time we have a different, different, uh, we have a different, different reports. So reports are like a GRAC upload rules, GRAC download rules, GRAC transport access rules. So we have so many of the other, other reports earlier. It's unnecessarily time consuming and uh, error prone and uh, the data may be inconsistent so there are so many of the issues so you will go to grac upload rules earlier how you do it so you go to grac upload rules and here you have to upload all the 10 txt files and then you have to click on execute so that your rules will be updated so you have to manually create so many of the text files and all but now whether you are using upload rules or the download rules or whatever it is every time you have to deal with so many of the text files but in the latest report so you no need to create any text files manually you don't need to deal with the multiple text files you have only only one xml file will be generated so we'll 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 go to that part now so grac rule set manager and click on execute so here you have a two options are the file mode or transport mode so we are going with the file mode so i want to upload and download a file a xml file so i'm dealing with the file mode so here if you want to download so here you can download which rule set so currently in my system there are so many of the rule sets are available so which rule set you want to download so usually during the implementation, we will download the global rule set and we will modify it and we will upload it into the system according to our requirement. Similarly, you can download any of the rule set or if you want to download all the rule sets, that also you can do it in one shot. So anything you can do. So now for, for testing purpose, I'm just downloading one specific rule set. So click on select that particular rule set and click on. So at the end, you can see an option called execute. So one xml file will be created let me create it on my desktop save operation finished successfully so i'll go to my desktop so you can see this rs2110 rule set rule set master data so this has been downloaded it's taken some time because there are more number of tabs so we'll see what is there in this particular xml file the first tab it is talking about the rule sets the second tab it is talking about the rule set description and the third tab is talking about the risk and rule set relationship so this particular rule set what i'm current what i have downloaded it is having only one risk id if the if you have more risk ids you, you are able to see here and the risks how many risks are there only one risk is there and what is the level of risk and which business process is it is related to and which risk type it is risk type is nothing but is it an sod risk or it's a critical action or it's a critical permission whether it's an active or not if it's an active it will show it as a one so risk description what is the risk you have created and what is the description it is if you have created if you have maintained any long description so if there is any risk owners you have defined the risk 
risk and the function id relationship so this risk id contains two function ids and the functions how many functions are there so for the particular particular risk id i have two functions so what are those two functions and which business process it is related to and the function description and the function actions in the each function in the each function in the function one i can see there are three transaction codes we'll call it as action in the function two we have two actions function one we have three actions function two we have two actions and the function permissions and the business process so all the details it will be downloaded in one single xml file so that is the main advantage of this particular report grac rule underscore set underscore manager so you can download one xml file and you can modify it accordingly and again you will go to the system and click on upload click on upload click on the template file and select the select the updated updated xml file this one or this one whatever the xml file just select it and apart from that you can click on this data inconsistency check so it will verify the data whatever you have uploaded whatever you have maintained in that excel file that is proper or not or is there is any errors in it the system will check additionally and click on execute at the end so automatically your rule set will be uploaded and after the rule set uploaded you can generate the rule set so you can generate the rule set and you can start using this one so this is the main benefit of grac rule set manager so so he, here in the, everything you can do in one shot in the one screen you can do it you can download you can upload you can transport you can, and no need to deal with the multiple text files and uh, it is automatically and if you have uh, some additional check here data inconsistency check data inconsistency check so it allows you to manage all rule sets at one place so it's a very good feature in grc sp25 so it's better if you can upgrade your system or you can simply you can simply implement one sap note note number is 3468630 so remember 3468630 just implement that note in your grc system so that you will get this new feature so new feature nothing but this new report you will it will come into your system grc rule set manager so this is the note 3468630 so this is the note talking about enhancement for rule set manager so if you are if you are in a older version i mean older version means you are in the grc 12 sp S, less than sp 25 then you have to implement this note manually automatically this new feature will come into your system and you can see there is a manual activity also you can check with your basis team so they will they will help you on it and they will prepare your all these manual activities and everything they will do it and so that finally you can start using this new functionality grac underscore rule underscore set underscore manager so this new report you can start using it before without upgrading your system okay and this is a very helpful feature so try to use this one thank you for watching the video bye